Chris Brown uh, reporting from Winder Boats, uh, November 2021. Uh, I seem to come here every year to put my new boat up, so here's a little article. Uh, this is my new ship they've just finished your mate. Team effort. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Steve did a bit properly. And uh, your two, uh, don't know the names over there. Joe. 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 Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe. up there somewhere. So I'll introduce you to Sarah, so when you phone up and give us a matter like I normally do, this is Sarah, she makes the orders and uh, what else do you do at Winders? But I'm giving Dave grief. <laughs> Bit of ordering, right. um, invoicing, do the, all the accounts, okay. VAT. Yeah, VAT. I'm the customer service. Right, <laughs> cool. You sailed before? Yes, I sailed at Many years ago, right. I used to sail with my dad in a national. Oh, right, cool. Yeah. Then I progressed to Dart 18. Oh, my, yeah, that's fast. And yeah. then from there, I met David. Yeah. Uh, we did a little bit in the Farbol, but I won't call it really sailing, it was more swimming. Was it? <laughs> and then we sailed the Merlin cool. together. Yeah. Till, uh, did you argue? Because most couples do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, no. I yep. probably shouted back. All oh, right, OK. Who's not meant to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, But then I had the kids. So yeah, I stopped, stopped it a bit. Yeah. And I've sailed with David's dad and David's mum right. a bit. You should get a solo, really. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a crew. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Solo, whatever changed recently, so I've gone for the Super Spark Boom, which is a slightly thicker section, and apparently it's a bit lighter as well. Um, um, just been informed C2 are no longer trading, apparently. Is that correct, Dave? Well, it's you certainly, retired? certainly said you'd retired. All oh, right, okay, it's a shame, yeah, it's, so it's been around all the time, anymore. right? So, so uh, there's a guy from Dovestone Sailing Club who who makes carbon tillers for lasers okay. and all the tiller extensions for roofs then. So these are from him. It looks um, similar thickness. No, I think it's almost identical in layout. Right. The weight seems about the same, doesn't it? So yeah. yeah. Might be slightly larger, obviously. Yeah. But he's, he, he basically does it in his, his sideline in his garage. Okay. He, he, he worked in the composites industry all his life. So how would you make one? You make a tube and just wrap it, do you? He wraps it around the mandrel, basically. Yeah. Okay, that's different. Yeah. Um, Florin, I wanted black to obviously do the black uh, boat. So, what Florin is this one? So it's a Harkin product. Okay. Called Deck Grip. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, and they do it in, I think, three or four different colours. And you can and you can get different shapes. Hexagons and stripes and all sorts. Right, so yeah, sort of them with the stripes, and they're quite different, don't they? Yeah, I think uh, all of the Davenport's got the hexagons on yeah. them. Yeah, if you don't want any of those, could be really hard work to stick down, wouldn't it? Well, and it work, they are expensive, <laughs> are they? When right. you work it out, we, we just looked at that for Mike's boat. Right. It's going to work out quite a bit more expensive. Yeah, yeah, it does yeah. look different, doesn't it? Yeah. Great. We're just looking into getting it. Getting Machine cut. Right. Um, this is Mike Dre's boat, he'll be happy to see it. Um, he's asked me for some photos, so I'll send some through. So it doesn't look like a solo to me at the moment, but uh, the whole's being done, is it? Yes, this is a whole. 
another yep. more serious just been all so 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 the foam's material's going dry so it's glass foam glass and then and then uh, there'll be a vacuum bag sealed on it and then the resin will be infused in looks like you're just gluing that down with some spray is that right like yeah so all the materials are just put in with the spray these just to keep it down while it uh, hold it right okay Oh, that's the colour. So you cut that down once you put your decks on. No, so the, the mould was painted first with gel cut. All right, okay. And then that was done yesterday, and then yeah. the materials are laid inside it. Right. To intentionally crash into an astral, astral. What about that? It's so what happens with these? Do they shrink? Do they? When? And you've got lines down here, is that the for a reason? That's the peel plan material that you peel off really after the moulding's done so that, the, the so that you can bond to it. So that's the just the oh, yes. Alright, so okay. The finish that allows you to go into without having to sand it down. Oh, okay. And it takes off all the excess resin. Alright, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, so all this area, the action movie, I'm going to say, will be able to do it. That's just like a sticky material, is it? No, it's just a phone. 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 It's just a